Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle, Haiku by Bondi, by using the modern software approach. Click on the link below if you want to try it yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, can you believe this? 54 given digits. Bondi sent this to me, and I almost laughed. Like, you, there, there, what value can there be of solving something like this? And I even said, I'm going to use the modern software approach because I tried solving it uh, normally. And then, unbelievably, I got stuck. And you try it below, and let's see how far you get. If you can even get one digit in before you get stuck. Okay? And I'll show you why. Let's, let's go through the ones. Uh, there's nothing you can do with the ones. There's no twos you can, you know, no hidden, naked singles there with the twos. Fives. Look at there. There's nothing really you can do with the fives. Sixes. Now, with the sixes, you can see here a, an X-wing. And so I'll point that out right here. There's next wing, right? So six, no more than two spots in columns four and seven, or excuse me, three and seven. And so that means the six has to be here and here, or it has to be there and there, which means that can't be a six, that can't be a six, no other sixes along those rows, right? So you can't eliminate those sixes. Great. Uh, move on to the sevens. Nothing extra you can do with the sevens. You can move on to the eights. Nothing you can do with the eights. Move on to nines, and you might spot another X-wing with the nines, right? So you look right there, right? And I can either has to be here or here or here and here because there's only these two spots in columns three and seven, which means we can eliminate a nine from right there. We can eliminate a nine from right there. So you probably noticed I went through there. There was no naked singles. There's no hidden singles. So not much we could do yet, right? And let's go here. Uh, so other things you might look at, and I'll actually trim this off for you. First, let's go to the X, Y. None of these will really connect for you. Like you see a one, two, and a one, two, but there's no um, W wing you can do that's gonna help you solve this right now. There is one little thing you might be able to notice. If you look right here, you might notice that the six and nine are limited to these two spots in block nine. So that makes them a hidden pair, right? Hidden pair, six, nine. And they're a hidden pair if there's other digits in there. If you were to be marking the grid, you might notice it as a, as a naked pair. Uh, so we can't eliminate that five. We can't eliminate that seven. And you're like, okay, well, now I did that. I can solve this puzzle, right? No. Nope, not going to help you. And so you got a six, nine um, coming across there. So what you'll see here now is if you look at the sevens, by eliminating the seven right there, you now have a claiming pair of sevens, right? It's the only sevens uh, in row seven are right there. So you can't eliminate the seven from right there. You're like, okay, great, great. This is nice, right? Right? And so maybe you got this far. And then you went and you looked in column seven, or excuse me, block seven here. And you might say, well, hey, hey, either I can see this as a naked quad, one, two, five, and eight, or... You can see this as a hidden triple. These are all fun stuff, hidden triple, right? Because six, seven, and nine are limited to these three spots in block seven. Uh, yeah, you look at it, you can probably notice that. So you can get rid of that one and that two. And now you're probably saying, oh, awesome, easy. Problem solved, let's look through the cans again. I'm sure we can solve something now, right? And we can look through the ones, we can look through the twos, we can look through the fives, look through the sixes, look through the sevens. We did a lot of clean up there. You'd think there would be some, some love, right? Look through the eights, look through the nines. Now we're gonna look at the by, we create some more by by candidates. There's gotta be something here, right? And there is not. That is far as you're gonna get. I haven't put one digit, haven't solved one cell yet. And so this is why I did the modern software approach, because I want to show you this puzzle, 54 givens, shouldn't be this hard, right? But it is. And so I will give you the secret of how far we, of how we can break through this puzzle uh, without bifurcation by using you know, logic. And it has to do with uh, an alternate inference chain, my favorite. So we're going to start in this cell right here, and we're going to end in this cell right here. And so I'm going to do it without coloring, and hopefully you can kind of follow along what I'm doing here. 
Uh, and if you don't understand what I mean by alternate inference chains, I will put a link right now to my alternate inference chain tutorial. You can check it out. And I show how the strong and weak links work together in a situation where you have two or more uh, candidates available in a cell and you're trying to solve it, right? And basically what alternate inference means, if something's false, the other thing has to be true. So what we're saying here is this is false, then this has to be true. And if that's the case in any cell that sees both of these fives, you can eliminate the five from those cells. So this five has a strong link with this one. It has a weak link with this one, a strong link to this nine. Then it has a weak link to this nine. And then a strong link to this nine. Weak link to this seven, strong link to this seven. Weak link to this seven, strong link to this seven. See, there's only two sevens across here, right? Weak link to this seven, a strong link to this five. So we start with a strong link right here, and then a strong link right here in the five. And so we started here with this five, and then with this five, with strong link. So we're saying either this is a five or that's a five. So you can eliminate a five from every cell that sees the two of them. So there's going to be a couple fives right here, uh, and then you can eliminate this five right there. Well, once you eliminate this five right there, there's only one other five in block nine, which is this five. Now, you can start solving this puzzle. And so, to be fair, I will remove the colors, and I will now remove the candidates. And solving that five, now I think we can get through and solve the rest of this puzzle. Okay, so... I did get a little peek. Let's go across row nine here, right? What are we missing? A one, a two, and a seven. And we remember the sevens are, lim are limited to this spot. So this can't be a seven and it can't be a one. So that has to be a two. And so a seven's right there. So this is a one. And then this is a seven. I think this puzzle will be a lot more fun to solve moving forward without using all the modern software approach. But I wanted to get you to that spot to show you how difficult this really was if you wanted to solve it logically. Okay, now where can we go? And what you want to do is you want to start looking for the cells that have the greatest amount of restriction, right? Okay, so where do we see you know the next bit of restriction here? Uh, if you probably noticed when you started, the threes and fours are all solved, so we don't have to solve any more threes and fours. So that's kind of nice. Um, this eight is kind of gives us a clue, right? Uh, that since we have that extra eight, now we have these extras. Twos, ones, five. So let's look. Two, two, two. So this can be a two. And two, two, uh, two spots for two there. Okay, can't solve that yet. Ones are in two spots right there. And I'm not even going to do any more marks. I'll just solve it without the marks. Uh, five, five, five. Okay, two spots for five there. Seven, seven, two spots for seven there. Um, all right, let me look here. What is the next logical spot? Why don't we come up this column here? We have one, two, three, four, five. We're missing a six and a nine. The six is right there in row two. So that's your nine and that's your six. Okay, great. Six, six. One spot left for a six here. Got your six. All right, now we got two spots left right here. Where are they? Uh, we're looking for a seven and a nine. So your nine's got to be there and your seven's got to be right there. Now, seven. Seven come across row three. Only one spot left for a seven here, and this is just simple cross hatching. Um, I, you know, I've done speed tutorial. You know, I'll put a link to that one. Um, so I'll put a link to my speed solve tutorial number one, where I show about just cross hatching, looking for those hidden singles is the quickest way to kind of solve the puzzle moving forward when it's easier. All right, and so there's only one spot left for a seven right here, so we can mark that seven. Any more sevens? I think we got rid of all of the sevens. Okay, and so now you, you want to move to the next place of the greatest restriction. So we can look right here and go, we need a 5 and an 8. We, we can't solve either one of those, 5 and 8. But we can also look up and go, we need a 5 and 8 here. So here's our 5. That's an 8. That's a 5. That's an 8. Okay, and greatest restriction. Let's, now you can see it's going to be column 7 because we're just missing two digits, right? A 6 and a 9. Here's your 9. So that's your 6. That's your 9. And then what are we missing right here? You know, only two places left. We're missing a one and we're missing 
a two. Well, we don't have either one of the one or a two. Okay, but what else are we missing? A one, two, nine, one, nine. Okay, a nine here, you got nine here, so this is gonna be your nine. So we can at least solve that. And now I see a two at the top. So that's a one, that's your two, and that's your one. So we remember, oh yeah, I was looking for one and two, so I can immediately solve that right away. And so now you see there's only two things left across rows three, two, and one. It's kind of hard to look across the entire row to solve, especially when the empty digits are on the ends. So instead, I'd rather just look at these three, and then kind of I can kind of cross hatch across the row. So what's the three missing digits here? Two, five, and eight. So I'll look real quick. Okay, five, eight there. So that's your two, and then I see an eight. That's your five. That's your eight right and i come over here and i'm missing a one and i can see two ones so that's your one i'm missing a five there's a five so there's i can solve that for a five and we're missing a six if you want to see more solving like this check out these other videos from my channel thank you bondy for giving this to me in fact he i suggested the name high q for it and i'm glad that he used that for the name of this particular puzzle. Uh, you're an awesome setter. I love working with you. If you want to support the channel more, buy me a coffee. Check out the link below. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.